Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the Animated Frames plugin so that you can include pictures in-game and even GIFs. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is ensure that your server is running Spigot. Then once it is, go to this page, there'll be a link to it down in the description below, and you'll need to download the Animated Frames plugin. So if we click Download now, and it'll take you to this page, and then you just click Download for free. So download that and it'll take you to an ad fly link and then just click skip in the top right to download it. Then it will take you to this page and then you need to click this link here to download the animatedframes.jar. And then just save that to your downloads folder. And then what we'll need to do, we'll need to go back to the animated frames page and we'll also need to download two other plugins. So there's two plugins here which it depends on, it's Packet Listener API. So if we open that in a new tab and then we need Map Manager 2. So again, you just need to click download now on these two plugins. It's the same steps to download each one of these. Then once you've got all three of those .jar files downloaded, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder and then click upload file, choose files and you'll need to upload one of each one of these one by one. Then once you've uploaded all of these files, click restart and then that should load the plugins in game. So now that they're loaded, let's go ahead and join the server to take a look at them. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server. So if we type slash AF help, this just confirms that the plugin is working. So as you can see, it's listed the commands that are available. So there are also one or two more commands that we can use. So to start off with creating an animated frame or putting pictures within item frames, start placing item frames in the location you want. So I've got this entire little board here. You can create your own. They can be as big or as small as you'd like. However, instead of just placing them manually, the plugin actually has a command that you can use. So if we type slash AF place, and then it says, please right click the bottom left. So the bottom left of this area, I'll right click here. And then it says, right click the top right block. So if we click this one up here, and then you can see it placed them for us all automatically. So that's fantastic. So it can save a bit of time if you've got big areas and it is just useful. So now that we've done this, we need to create one. So the first thing you need to do is go to Google or go to wherever your picture is, and you need to get a link to it from the internet. So here I've just got a server pro logo. So if I click view image, it should take me to the original source and the image link does need to end in .png, .gif or .jpg. So make sure it ends in one of them, otherwise it won't work. So highlight the entire URL and then click copy. And then we'll need to go into Minecraft and then we're going to type slash AF create and then the name. So I'm just going to call this one logo and then you need to paste it with control V. If you're on a Mac, the command is command V. So once you've got that, click enter and then right click the bottom corner of the item frames. And then again, the top corner and then it should generate and fill this space with the picture. So as you can see there, we've got a huge server pro logo. So let's do the same thing, but we'll do it with a GIF this time. So you can see that the animation does work. So as you can see, I have this GIF of the world from Wikimedia. So if I copy this link, and again, you need to make sure that it ends in .gif or it won't work. So if you copy it and then we go back and then let's create it. So AF create, let's call this one world and then we'll paste it. And then we need to right click at the bottom left and then right click the top. And then it should create the GIF on these item frames. Now bear in mind that when it creates GIFs, it can take a little longer to process. So as you can see there, the GIF is now working. So that's fantastic. It is also worth noting that there is some little glitches sometimes with some GIFs. So as you can see here, there's a little black bit that keeps reappearing. However, it's just a little GIF for Minecraft, so it should do well. So if you've created an animated frame or picture, you can remove them if you wanted to. So you would just type slash AF remove and then the name of it. So if I wanted to remove the world, I called it world. So I would type world and it would stop the animation and remove and then return it to item frames. So you can also list the item frames that you've created. So if you type slash AF list, that will list all of them. So as you can see, when you list them, you can teleport to them as well. So if I click that, it will teleport me to this item frame and you can also delete them from this menu too, which is really nice. So that's it. So that's basically all the commands that are available for this plugin. So let's take a very quick look at the configuration files. So if we go back to the control panel and if we click refresh on the plugins folder, or if you navigate to the file manager and then the plugins folder again, you should see some new folders appear. So if we go inside of the animated frames folder, you can see here that there is a config.yml file. So if we go inside 
inside of here, it's very basic. All you can basically do in here is change the messages that are displayed in game. So if you see these here, where it says like animation started, setup complete, you can change all of those messages here. So for example, if you're from a different country, you can set it up to be in that language as well. And you can also change the color codes if you wanted to. So we're not going to be changing anything as I like the way it is by default, but I was just showing you this in case you'd like to change it yourself. So once you made any changes, click save and then restart the server as you would usually. Other than that, that's how you set up animated frames. It's a very simple plugin that introduces a nice feature. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I really hope that I helped you. Feel free to comment down below with any new tutorials you'd like to see in the future as we're always open to new suggestions. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.